Yes, we almost need to kind of challenge our own tendency to perhaps a troll mentality. Um, yes, that's, um, but uh, what I can say is, yeah, we need to kind of start also finding how to be kind of also supportive. But on the other hand, you're nothing as bad as working with difficult actors, I can tell you that for nothing. <laughs> um, our core is small. Yeah, I mean, it's almost, um, it's almost us here. Yeah, there are yeah perhaps a few empty seats for for a, a few other board members, NEC members. Um, so now we need to build that core. Also, um, perhaps the last challenge, which is um, just kind of the uh, which it seems to be pati particularly peculiarly a British problem. It's kind of this one. It's the uh, okay, you're a joke party. You're kind of you're a comedy pirate party. Um, and even when you're, uh, when you, uh, particularly uh, once you get out as a candidate, you kind of realise that there's also, um, um, uh, I think Sean said to me, as fact, unless uh, his, his local paper came out to kind of pho photograph him, and, they, and, it, and you saw this really disappointed, crestfallen look uh, when, it's, when he didn't turn up in the full pirate outfit. Um, we need to be really honest that this is a challenge that um, I think the way to beat that is actually be showing that we're serious and that, we're, um, we're may, that, we can be taken, that we can be taken seriously and that we are involved in serious issues. Um, so what are the kind of our big kind of core issues? Yes, it's of course the Digital Economy <coughs> Act. And, you know, I don't need to take you through that in terms of, um, in terms of, the, of what a threat it is. Um, to me, um, I think what's extraordinary, you see what's happening in North Africa now, is you see, um, oh, do we want to give the parliament down there, down there whichever way it is, down in, down in Westminster, the same kind of powers as Mubarak? No, we do not. And I think that's very kind of clear, is to say, this is a way to this kind of control of the um, of control of the internet, but also saying that um, that it's also not helping people who are involved in culture like me. You can only have to look at um, the the, uh, uh, the press releases that that the DCMS, the cultural se culture secretary, put out um, to see how much how much how little all their made up st statistics make sense. They reckon they're going to claw back 200 million quid a year um, through, the, through the Digital Economy Act. Good luck with that. Um, there's, um, and also they reckon they're going to claw it back from 7 million file sharers. Well, I'm sure all of you, are kind of, a lot of you are better at doing the maths on that one, saying actually how unrealistic this is even a supposed business model. What's very good news for us on this is that the recent ACS law... Um, uh, judgment um, gives us a real way in to defeat this ridiculous and anti-democratic piece of legislation. Um, that we can now see that IP addresses are not, uh, can't be taken as, as being connected to one individual. That's now clear in the ju in judgment. So the whole idea of going after individual file sharers is unravelling in British law and we need to give it the kit to make sure it unravels completely. Um, yes, civil liberties. Um, we remain one of the most watched people on earth. I wonder if it would have been possible to walk, walk here from the bus station where I came from without being observed on CCTV. I very much doubt it. And we see, despite some, uh, some moves forward uh, for, from the, the coalition, nice to, see the, uh, nice to see the kind of the demise of ID cards, um, for example. But things like control orders are re being rebranded. We have kettling. Um, um, even you're going go down to, to see demonstrations, and you think, see things like bloody sound weapons tru tru trundled up on the streets, uh, on the streets of um, uh, cities in the UK. Um, we've seen things like the Twitter joke trial, um, where somebody's just handed for making um, making a flippant comment on. Um, a flippant comment on, on Twitter. Um, 
I think what's very important is that we need to prior to prioritise this area. As I know that in terms of, of, of people coming to me, a lot of people are asking me about file sharing, um, but not so many people are talking civil, civil liberties. I think where we've shown our commitment to civil liberties and a transparent politics is through our support for WikiLeaks. And this is where we managed to break through in the media, is that we're not just now be, being asked to talk about, OK, well, we're the go-to people for file sharing or piracy, but actually we're in the heart of some of the most key, um, the key uh, issues in terms of transparency in politics and uh, civil liberties. So we need to be as much more associated with that, that we're, uh, we're asking for a new politics, a transparent politics, that we're fed up to the back teeth with, with the politicians that we have at the moment, the expenses, the lies, the lack of engagement, that we have an advantage because we are open and accessible, because we are a, part, a 21st century party of, um, of um, new media, that we've shown that we're much more, we're, we're much more open and accessible. And also our, the way that we work without it being a whipped party, that actually is also shows our commitment that we're interested in voters and what voters have to say. And this also plays well on the doorstep. So, it's also quite, it's so really, we've got a lot of lessons to learn from the general election and, um, and, and from Alden, which I hope that we can feed into the upcoming, um, the up, the upcoming election campaigns. Um, we'll probably talk about all of that a little bit, a little bit more. But the kind of question is, um, why a political party at all? Um, there are lobby organisations in, interested in our field, but being a lobby organisation is too narrow. Politics is where it happens if we want to change, if we want to change the Digital Economy Act, if we want to stop digital exclusion, if we want to deal with copyright, if we want to, uh, want to uh, de uh, deal with obscene profits for pharmaceutical companies. It's politics where this happens, and it allows us to press the decision makers. But it also forces you to get out there. And um, also thanks to people that I can see around here who joined me on the, ca uh, joined me on the campaign trail. And I've also enjoyed joining you, some, on the, some of you on the campaign trail. It forces you to get out there and talk, and talk to other people. It makes you do that. Um, and I think that's where we, um, that's where we have to uh, start, start thinking now as this, in terms of opening us out. A vision, more members, working, we can work from our strengths. We have a, a kind of um, a, a group of people who really do know who we are and also, um, also interested in ideas and our ideas and respond well to them. But we need to even attract more of those people to be members, to be active. 